Welcome to another episode of Boat Snoop. I'm your host, Clint Johnson. And what we have for you today is a 2003 Silverton 39 motor yacht by the name of Lucky Dog. And this is a nice, nice boat. I'm well, excited to show it to you today. Uh, but before we hop on board and take a look, um, I'm going to do a couple of uh, drone shots for you. And then we'll hop on board and uh, take a look. So on her aft swim platform, we have a really large window here that goes to the master stateroom, provides a lot of really, really nice light. We have uh, stairs that go up here and from the port side here, you notice that black bag there, that is a stainless steel grill that they have on the back. Notice this Isinglass, pretty darn good shape, even a screen here so even if you have it rolled up and you get some airflow through you do have a screen so let's get up there and take a look around all right here on the aft deck we we have the door that goes down into the salon we'll get in there later we got the fly bridge up there really large aft deck back here with seating and note that the current owners of this boat uh, they do live aboard this vessel and they have put a washer dryer unit in here and it's not in the way um, or anything like that. It fits perfectly in that area. Really nice seating area built in. Seats in really, really nice condition. And because of the way they have it set up, uh, you wouldn't really exit this side because um, you have your grill there. You get on and off on this side. And this boat um, has that where even when you go up to the bow, you can do it on both sides. But something I really like about it just these really nice high quality latches. Um, they're not chintzy little latches on this boat. Something I noticed when I was taking a look at her earlier. So as we head up to the bridge up here, we'll notice really nice Isinglass, really nice view. Seating for three here, but in addition, a large amount of seating here. Looks like they have some, a new pack of life vests here that they brought on board, but additional seating here. Now here at the helm station, a couple of these chairs that have these bolsters, they fold down, but if you want to sit a little bit higher, you can pop those up or lean against them. Really nice. Has some newer electronics. Chart plotter is a Garmin touch. We can see right here, this boat indeed does have a bow thruster. And I'm seeing your auto helm here. Your third... Uh, your third crewman help you pilot the boat so you don't have to have hands on the wheel all the time now something to note on this boat a lot of boats um you, you know you walk around the side and it's really cramped like let's say that boat over there that's a perfect example so you're kind of working your way around the edges this boat up here in the bridge you just exit out this side open this door go down some really nice wide steps and head forward and it's exactly the same way on the starboard side. And that's actually really, really quite nice. A lot more protected. So let's head on up and we'll take a look at the bow. Now, like I was saying, I'm not squished um, in walking sideways. I can actually walk normally up onto the bow. You note they have some... Uh, 
a padded seating area, nice cushions, really good condition. If I get really close, you can see that they're all cracked or discolored, really nice. You got fender holders. They do have the one fender in over there, but they have those, those are always nice. I like those a lot. And we have the bowsprit here with the anchor going down into the anchor locker. And here in the anchor locker, we have a electric windlass and we have a very large storage area for line and or chain. And they do have chain as well, followed up by line. You notice there's a little hose connection there. So you could use a fresh water uh, rinse on your chain if you wanted to, but really good sized area. And I'm pretty sure that I could actually just lower myself down in there and, you know, work with, you know, the chain and the line down there if I needed to. It's a fairly good sized opening. I mean, it's not huge. I'd have to squeeze, but I, I could get down in there. And before we head forward, you can raise and lower your anchor chain here if you have somebody up here on the bow or there is also one in up at the helm station and I'll show it to you here. And so I did go back up and just want to show you this real quick. This switch right here, this does remotely run your anchor in and out from the helm station. So I just wanted to show that as well. And we have a view here of the bow looking aft, really large hatch that opens up in the forward stateroom. Let's head on back up. We're going to go around on the port side this time so you can kind of see this is really wide. So very, very nice, much better protected access than most vessels. And here, once again, a good view of the bridge. And once again, a view of the aft deck area. As we head on down, we're going to head on inside. Get in the salon and take a look at the inside of the boat. Hey guys, do you need a loan to buy your new boat? So many lenders. Who to choose? Are you getting the best rate? What if the boat I want is older than 20 years old? Not to worry, my friends. Boat Snoop has a solution. As a yacht broker, I have a boat loan broker and sponsor of this channel that many of my clients use to great satisfaction. I jokingly call him my boat lending leprechaun, holding the holy grail in his right hand while riding a unicorn over a rainbow into a pot of gold. You might ask, Clint, why do you call him that? Because this guy, he has been in the business for over 30 years and has connections to almost every major boat lender possible. Additionally, he has a good handful of lenders that can finance a boat 21 to 30 years old, and lenders that do that are not that common. Finally, he has one lending source that can finance boats over 30 years old. That's right, it could be possible to get a loan on an antique or classic boat. To summarize, Using a boat loan broker such as this saves you time as you only have to fill out one application instead of many from a whole host of different lenders, which is time consuming and utterly exhausting. As many of my clients have found, he'll bring to you the best financing deals he can find and that you can qualify for. If you're located in the United States, need a boat loan for 20,000 US dollars or more and you are interested in connecting with my personally recommended boat lending leprechaun, just email me your name and best phone number at lender at boatsnoop.com. Upon receiving your email, I will personally introduce my lender and you via email. At that point, I just fade away and let the two of you get to work on financing your new boat. And after you've opened up the door, there is a really nice screen door here. So this this is really nice so get down in here just the wood in this boat is gorgeous she's just absolutely beautiful let's head on down and snoop around a bit so we head down here into the salon i guess we got boat snoopy here 
this channel's official mascot. It's around noon here in Florida, and so it looks like he's found some food. Looks like he's going to have a little lunch. Now there's covers right now, but they're nice because you can partially see through them on all that front glass here in the salon and the galley. But this boat, really wide open, lots of light. Really nice. Have our entertainment center over there. Flat panel TV. Three disc DVD player. Full stereo system. And another one I can't see down there. That might be a Blu-ray player. Not quite sure. But full stereo system. And while we're here in the salon, I did want to point out that this couch does indeed, you're going to have to move a couple cushions around, but it indeed does uh, make out into a bed. And with about five more seconds of rearranging, it flips out and there you have your double bed. And quite literally, it makes right back into a couch in about 10 seconds. And I was actually doing that one-handed because I'm still holding the camera on the little gimbal mount um, in the other hand. So about 10 seconds to do it one-handed to go back. Pretty nifty. Really nice couches. Now here in the salon, I wanted to point out that you just lift up part of the floor, more of the floor opens up actually almost all of it but you can just flip this one small one open and you have access to get down into the engine room. So down here in the engine room we're currently facing aft. I just came right down the stairs and as we go aft this here is starboard side and we have a battery bank there have an additional battery bank over here and if I flip around as I'm flipping around this is starboard side shaft seal you, you can see this really in nice condition you, you know a lot of times you'll see a little bit of corrosion and stuff like that but looks really good here's the aft side of the starboard motor oh now we got boat snippy just hanging out here and we'll swing around here a bit and let's get in the starboard motor. These are Cummins diesels, 370 horsepower each. So that's a total of 740 horsepower on this 39 foot boat. And as we swing around here, this is the port motor. Skin looks to be in really good overall condition. Fire suppression system. And as we are now facing forward, we have our Kohler diesel generator on the boat. We have an additional battery there for the generator. All right, let's hop on out and take a look at the rest of the boat. So back in the salon, we have a pretty good size uh, table, seating area. It would hold easily, very comfortably four people. Looks like they have an additional couple of uh, seats there, so you could have a couple of people sit around on this side. We'll head on down to this galley. It's very big, open, roomy. Just really, really like the wood. Pretty good size refrigerator. And yes, the refrigerator and freezer are pretty good size and they're obviously working very well. Some ice cream, ice, large amount of storage in this refrigerator. Bunch of storage here in the door. And here we have our three burner electric stove. You can see a lot of cabinets down here. So storage, more storage up here. We have a microwave and a really large, deep stainless steel sink. And, you know, this round one like this, you could fit a very large instant pot or crock pot or something like that. And underway, even if the boat was rolling, it's not going to roll out of that. I really like those big round sinks like that, especially for like an instant pot. 
And as we head forward to the forward stateroom, notice that because that big hatch that I showed you guys up on the bow, that forward hatch provides a lot of light. I'm seeing a lot of storage space there. But first off, we do have a door here. And we will check out the forward head. Sink. Toilet. And a good sized shower. And you can sit down there in there as well. There is another door that leads into the forward stateroom. So as we head up, this is a good size, it's a full, maybe queen size bed. It's big. Oh, boat Snoopy taking a nap. Good size hanging lockers. Looks to be cedar lined. Very nice. And as we sweep back around to the foot of the bed, Forward stateroom has its own TV. There are steps to get up on this bed, by the way. And another cedar line hanging locker. And now that we've seen the forward stateroom, we'll go on back to the even larger master stateroom. So in the master stateroom, this is definitely easily queen size bed. So very large, roomy, lots of light. You have the two windows, more really good size hanging lockers. And you'll notice that there's two doors there. Before we get in there, there is another large storage right here. Real deep, nice, big, big and roomy. Now behind door number one here, the aft door, we have a full separate shower, large. For a 39 foot boat, for it to have such a large shower i mean a lot of them have good size showers but this one is it's huge really really good size shower and here we'll head forward to door number two and this is the head minus the shower because you have a separate shower so that makes this good size roomy nice large mirror sink more storage there and a massive corner storage cabinet and what i mean by massive is because it takes the corner it goes all the way back so it makes it really deep really roomy and it goes all the way down so that is that's really nice and then finally of course you do have the toilet and well let's just say we don't want to know what boat snoopy's doing there so Anyhow, we'll head on back up into the salon. Well, thank you for joining me on another episode of Boat Snoop, where we took a look at a 2003 Silverton 39 motor yacht by the name of Lucky Dog. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoy videos like this and you'd like to see more in the future, make sure uh, to hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like this video, um, click that thumbs up button. That really helps. And just want to say, I appreciate everybody who watches these videos, everybody who subscribes, everyone who hits that like button, and I'll see you next time.